if you were to play the floor as lava here, you'd automatically lose. This is the Kilauea Iki Crater, part of the larger Kilauea volcanic system, one of the most active volcano systems in the world. In 1959, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes, Pele, made her presence known here by filling this crater with over 400 feet of lava. Over the next five weeks, 17 separate lava fountains erupted, filling the crater with molten rock that gradually formed a massive lava lake with temperatures up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. To native Hawaiians, this eruption wasn't just a significant geological event, but a powerful expression of Pele's nature, an act of both creation and destruction. And just three days before that eruption ended, lava surged 1,900 feet up into the air, a record for the highest lava fountain ever recorded on Hawaii. As the lava lake cooled, it shifted and cracked and created these crustal plates as the lava continued to flow underneath, creating this jagged landscape that we see today. These rocks might seem dense, but they're actually super light. That's because they're filled with tiny gas bubbles that got trapped as the lava rapidly cooled and solidified. If you pick one up, just remember to put it back. Removing rocks or anything from Hawaii, for that matter, is a no-go, both out of respect for the land and out of respect for Pele's domain. If you smell faint traces of sulfur or feel heat from the cracks, don't worry, that's just because the ground is still thermally active, with lava flowing underneath and a massive lava lake just below the surface. Which is exactly why 